Hello, and welcome again to the channel, and also to another episode of My Thoughts. A series where I tell you my thoughts, opinions, and, well, first impressions on stuff that is usually related to video games, or gaming in general. And, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Paladin's 2.01 patch, called Fire and Ice. Or, um, uh, fire or frost, or whatever. And, so, we're going to go over the main highlights of this patch. Starting with the newest hero, I mean, not hero, but the newest champion for to be added to this game. Imani, the last warder. Yeah, here she is. Let's go, so let's go over her abilities and her talents, talents at the same time. First, frost, take four. we have uh, the fire, the frost stance, and she is a stance switcher. Frost deals six, six hundred and 50 damage per shot, and Flames and it is basically the fast form of dealing damage. And I also, also, uh, there is also a talent that makes the icicles or the frost ammunition to bounce off to another enemy target. First, well, here we have the fire stance. You charge these up like a shawl in our arrow. And at max charge, they deal a, a thousand damage. And I am using a talent at the moment that every third successful hit with this fire stance, it may. It makes the makes it deal a AOE explosion. An AOE explosion. Thousand here, thousand here, and a thousand here. There. Deals. She always gets what she wants. So yeah, that is basically the fire stance. And you have probably noticed that every time I deal damage, there is this little bar that fills up. That is her passive. It is this mana bar that makes the, the... When the mana bar is full, the next atta basic attack will be instant. For example, it makes th this... The fire stances, fireballs, they are like a thousand damage in an instant. Like all who stand against me. Make sure that in a second. Now, no, no. did you see that? It was pretty instant. Oh. So yeah. Frost, take four. Now let's go over to the alternative fires for these characters and let me just switch to a more uh, more ice ice focused talent. And here, you see, you see that she just bounces off to another ta target. And I also forgot to mention that the icicles also slow the enemy for a little bit. But here we have the ice alternative fire. There's ice bomb that, when, when it explodes, it deals 800 damage and it also roots the enemy in place. And both of the alternative fires for for this character, they also have this very long cooldown of 20 seconds. And and to mention that you can't use any other abilities or you can't even do any basic attacks while 
while the ice bomb is flying or in the air. So to speed this up, you you have you can also you can also detonate it in the air when you press right click again or the any button that, that you can perform the alternative fire with. Now we have this the fire stance alternative attack. If it would well, let, let me just here, yeah. So this is basically a Kamehameha wave from Dragon Ball Z. The cold. She always gets what she wants. And the alternative fire itself is called Inferno Cannon. But as you, as I said, like just before, I like to call call this a Kamehameha wave. I mean, come because come on, why not? It is basically a one from Dragon Ball Z. So yeah. Now let's go over to the movement ability. Right. It is it is called Frostfire Glide and as you can you probably just saw she just creates this this some this board made of ice and uses the fire as a propellant and you go more you go fastest when you just go straight forward and and you can also go a little bit up with this uh, ability but it just loses mobility when you try to turn it turn with this I mean, probably. I mean, the slowing probably just happens when you just turn a tool steeply. Elephant. So yeah, that pretty much covers that. But let's go. Well, I mean, first let's go over her last talent and then we can discuss the ultimate I'm, I'm using the ice because why not so when you with this talent mana rift you can basically uh, when you stand stand in a place for a cup when you stand in place for two seconds, Ooh, it creates this circle or an area, which automatically recharges your mana. Bar. So you, you can you can get pretty much three thousand damage fireballs. Frost, take four. Or can, uh, or you can uh, fire fire very fast icicles at your enemies. And when you exit the area, it disappears. So, let's go uh, with the big bada boom, the ultimate. It is called Dragon's Call. And watch this. This is just awesome. You, you just fly or fly around in this big dragon, or I mean, you just control the dragon. The cold. She always gets what she wants. Oh, yeah. This has a massive hitbox, and it also has 7,500 health. So yeah, that is basically the much of it. But when you kill Imani, the dragon also dies, so... No avenging... No avenging things... With this character. But... I mean, still, come on! 
this is a freak. This ultimate lets you control a freaking a dragon. I mean, how cool is that? This is just so cool. And apparently, according to the developers of this game, the the fire it is also supposed to slow down enemies, but since this is PTS and there there is always bound to be a, all kinds of bugs. So of course this is going of course it isn't going to slow. And there are also a couple of bugs also that are in this PTS, but I hope lo I hopefully just hope they don't get into the live game. So Let's go on with the other stuff in this event. I mean, this patch. When when you buy items, you 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 can buy any anything from the same category of items. For example, you can go like you do you want to go do you want to go fast with your mount and and do you Works. I'm just gonna max out all the stuff in uh, this section. I mean, almost. This will help. But with this, my cool cooldowns are a lot are a lot faster. My 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 mount rounds very fast. My movement speed is also a li al also faster, and my ultimate Ekmore charges a lot, like lot more faster also. So yeah, some people are calling this the Hearts Double Unbound kill. 2 2.0, and wants. I can see where they are coming from, but still, this. This also adds to adds more to the MOBA type feel of this game, and I love it, since Smite is one of my favorite games, and it also has this like that you can buy multiple items from the same category, which is very awesome in my opinion. Oh. Hmm, I don't know if if that is a bug or just something. Hmm. Okay. Let's get on with the rest of this stu stuff in this patch. With this patch comes this comes also a new battle pass, which is this anime slash mecha. Me mecha slash mech suit inspired battle pass. Yeah, battle pass. That is a battle pass. Yeah, I sound very very dumb. I know. But this is one of the free skins that is Scanning that sensors. is in this patch. Here we have a. Here we have this. This eagle eye, eagle eye suit skin for Kinesa, and she was very long overdue for a skin. I mean, like the la her last skin was like in 2017, like literally like a lot last year. So yeah, it it is a very good to have a. Have some, have a mines. skin, something better. I cannot speak today. I'm very sorry. The sound design on this weapon is very good. The scope looks very futuristic, and the teleport. 
teleporter. I think also it has this. Is this some sort of futuristic? So yeah, yeah, the teleporter doesn't have uh, any special effects, and it retains the default effects. At least I think so. So here we have the electro zapper mine, and it also it has this some sort of magnetic field around it. And then let's go over with the ult. Try and run, searching for the target. Imperial magistrate. Double kill. Triple kill. And. It also looks like in the that the ammo for this weapon is or is some sort of antimatter slash electricity. Oh yeah. And let's go oh let's also go over the voice pack. Amazing Hi. No problem. Hello? Hello? Oh, did my smucking speakers break again? So yeah. And let's go just over just over the few things that are also in this pad battle pass before moving on to the next skin. We have this anime animated sprays. That it, this is for the Paladin's Defense Force and the Imperial Forever. Then there are all these static sprays with this called the Protector. I mean, or the Eagle Eye. Oh, it seems that I have a. Oh. Crap. It seems that I forgot to equip the other spray, but this is supposed to be Furia. And speaking of Furia, here we have the the A defen defense force angel skin, or whether I I forgot the name of this skin, but as for the theming of this. Battle Pass, this has the, this has the, well, mecha slash mecha anime feel to it. So yeah, the gunner looks very heavy and hefty. And, well, the... I mean the inspect animation is also some somewhat cool. So yeah, for the abilities we have this. For the F we have this movement up or her movement ability. I mean if I don't make if I make any sense. It fires this some sort of blue energy balls. And here we here we go with the healing I feel and also the giant beam which is pretty awesome looking, in this war. if you ask me systems not ready so yeah and let's also go over her ultimate Show them no mercy. And just like the Kinesa weapon, the sound design on this weapon is also spot on. So yeah, let's go over. Let's just have a listen at the voice pack. Make the impossible possible. Protector of the weak. 
Reporting for duty. <laughs> it takes a lot to be a battlesuit pilot. You need to push your body to the limit, study your enemies doggedly, and yell at the top of your lungs for hours non-stop! And here we have the last of the skins. And as I told you before, the PTS always, always tend, tends to be a little buggy. For example, it doesn't give you the Androxis weapon, at least for me. So yeah, so I'm using the nerf weapon for this time, for him at this time. But I think that the real weapon also has this very brilliant sound s sound thing that is also that is for part of the team um, I mean the theme like the for the le rest of the characters so yeah well here are here are the punches like this for the and he well, here is the reversal. And here is the nether step. Ability. And here is the ultimate. Rampage! So yeah. And to note another thing before I will just do a mini compilation of, of the other things that is added into this patch they they have removed one talent from all all the champions and some of them got in, got it integrated into the base kit and you can go just to check them out for yourself in the in the paladin's website website or i will or I will just, you know, just link the link the update page to the description of this video so you can read all the patch notes as they are complete there. So, that about does it for this video. Leave a like and, well, subscribe if you want to. And we will see you all next week. Goodbye.